This presentation will demonstrate how the CSI PDM Integrator and Inventor interact with CoCreate's Model Manager. This demonstration shows the PDM Integrator working with Inventor 2009. However, the latest released version of Inventor is supported. In the Inventor environment, you will now see a new pull-down menu called PDM Integrator. This menu provides all of the commands to interact with CoCreate's Model Manager. We will begin with a new part created in our Inventor design environment and store it to Model Manager. Choose Save from the PDM Integrator menu. I will continue to enter some additional information for this model. You will have noticed that the Save window looks a little different to the standard Model Manager Save dialog. We have an option to choose if we would like to create a new master data record and link it to the new model record. Clicking the Master Data tab allows us to enter additional attribute information for the new part during the save process. After completing all required attribute information, simply click Save. After each save to Model Manager, the designer receives confirmation of the save through a Save Progress window. This is a useful feature, but it can be switched off in the Configuration options. Let's look at some of the other commands within the PDM Integrator menu. Choose the Properties option. Model Manager quickly locates and displays all of the information relating to the model. Choosing the Master Data tab displays the part information that we entered when saving the model. I will quickly go into Edit Mode and enter some additional information relating to this part. Now the design is complete, I will release for manufacture. Open the Model Manager workspace by choosing Search and Open from the PDM Integrator menu. The Model Manager workspace shows the items last worked on using the Recent List option. You may have noticed that there is a preview thumbnail of the model displayed in the workspace. During the store process, the PDM Integrator automatically created a larger preview of the model and this can be viewed by clicking on the thumbnail image. These previews can be extremely useful for non-CAD staff to view designs prior to releasing a model or a drawing for example. The current state of any object within Model Manager is always displayed alongside the object name. Here we can see that the bearing bracket that we have just stored is currently at a state of work. We will now change the state of the bearing bracket from work to approved. Right click the model and choose approved from the change state list. Let's repeat this process and release the part for manufacture. In the next part of the demonstration, we will assume that we've logged in the following morning to continue working on our design. We will first locate our model using the search tools inside Model Manager. Choose Search and Open from the PDM Integrator menu. Choosing the Search button displays a list of the available objects that we can search for within Model Manager. We're searching for the Inventor model which we created yesterday, therefore we choose Models from the list. In the Name field we enter some information about our model. We will search for all models beginning PDMI-40, i.e. for part names that start PDMI-40, and then click the Search button. A very useful feature of Model Manager is the ability to save your searches to recall at a later date, therefore allowing you to quickly locate frequently used data. To run this query again, simply click on the saved search. Using standard Model Manager commands, we load the model into our Inventor environment. With the part now loaded, we will use this as the base part in a new assembly. We have now added the bearing bracket as our base component to a new assembly, so let's store this assembly to Model Manager. As with the part, simply choose Save from the PDM Integrator menu. The Store dialog always displays the object that we're storing to Model Manager at the top of the window. Enter any additional information about the assembly. As before, after completing any additional information for the model, we could click the Master Data tab and enter some part information at the same time. We again get confirmation that the store is complete. 
The PDM integrator allows us to load subparts from Model Manager for positioning in our assembly. Using standard Model Manager search tools, we locate the bearing for this bracket. We can easily check that this is the correct part by viewing the preview image. Let's load the bearing into our assembly. Notice that this bearing is an inventor I part. This is indicated by the child relationship back to the generic part. Using standard inventor commands, let's position the bearing into the bracket. I now want to use a standard shaft which is stored in Model Manager. As before, select Load Subpart from the PDM Integrator menu. Let's search for our shaft. As before, we load the shaft into our assembly. Model Manager provides us with some predefined load rules, allowing us to easily load the highest revision of a component or the highest released revision. We can easily choose a specific revision of a component. Once again, we use standard inventor commands to position the shaft. Now that the assembly is complete, let's store to Model Manager. With the store complete, we have seen how the PDM integrator interacts with Model Manager when storing both parts and assemblies from Inventor. Now let's see how the PDM integrator manages our drawings. With the drawing complete, click the Save option in the PDM Integrator menu. You may have noticed that we always use the same command when storing any object from Inventor. Enter any additional information about the drawing. Note, this information is used to automatically populate the drawing title block. Notice how Model Manager automatically recognises that the drawing is to be associated with the bearing assembly part record and is shown as existing data. Note that the Save Progress dialog provides useful feedback at this stage as it highlights which parts have been saved and which do not require saving. At the same time as storing the drawing, the PDM integrator also created and stored a PDF rendition of the drawing for viewing outside of the design environment. There is no need to enter any title block information as PDM Integrator does this automatically using the information that we entered during the store process. Let's make a typical design change and see how the PDM Integrator tracks the changes providing complete history throughout the life cycle of our products. The bearing bracket has been redesigned to include mounting holes as the original model has already been released, we need to track this change and up-issue this modified model. We choose Save New Issue from the PDM Integrator menu and enter some information about the design change. With the change information complete, choose Save. The drawing has now been saved at version 2 and a new PDF created. Any model manager parameter may be used within Inventor. Here we have populated the change note information on the title block. Let's see how the powerful features of model manager provide information to the designer. At any stage when working on individual models, assemblies or drawings, choosing properties from the PDM integrator menu will provide all information about that object. Model Manager displays the attributes for the drawing and providing we have the necessary permissions at the current state, we may edit this information. Let's view the complete assembly structure. Click the plus to expand the bearing assembly. We can now see all of the components that make up this assembly, including the revision and the current state of the models. Search for our shaft and within seconds we can locate where this shaft is used in order to make our desired design change. Here we can see that revision 3 of this shaft is used on revision 1 of the bearing assembly. This concludes the demonstration of the PDM integrator for Inventor. The PDM integrator includes a license for PDM AnyDocs to manage all your project and product documentation. Please view the associated video to find out more. 
If you have any questions about the PDM integrator, please visit our website www.csi-europe.com for all contact details or email info at csi-europe.com and a member of the CSI team will contact you to answer any questions.